Today we are going to be adapting a spin art, crazy art, uh, paint spinner. Um, the things that you're going to need is you'll need some wire cutters, a soldering iron, solder, some heat shrink, um, a screwdriver of course, batteries to test it. I use a hair dryer on the heat shrink and um, also hot glue. Need a button to test it to make sure that it works and we'll go ahead and get started. First we're going to start by taking this apart. take the top off. We're going to test it first just to make sure that it works before we start working on it. So we're going to go ahead and put the batteries in. Just press the button here. It works great. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take. I'm just gonna leave the batteries in to be perfectly honest with you. Probably really shouldn't do this, but I'm take the screws out. There's four of them here. Okay, we're gonna get the screws so we don't lose them. Put them on the plate. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this, the button out. I'm gonna take that out. We don't need that. This can go right into the trash. I took the button out. I can go ahead and cut these two black wires here. Just right at the tip so you have as much to work with as you can. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and um, take some of the, um, the outside off to expose the wire. I'm using a 22 here to help do that. Just go around and then pull it off. I have exposed wire now. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the wire off of here. So here's my uh, female 3.5 mm. I'm going to take the wire off of that to expose it a little bit more. And on this one, a little bit more. There we go. Simply going to take this now and I'm gonna feed it right through here to act as the button where the button came out at, just like that. And tie a knot to make sure it doesn't get pulled out. It's a good way to make sure you secure it in there so no little kids come and pull it out. Then we're going to test it because we don't want to do something and have it not work before we start soldering it all together. So I'm going to plug in the button. This is an AbleNet big red button. And I'm going to put it here and here and use my elbow to make sure it works. And now you can hear it. It is working. So I'm going to unhook the button. And I'm going to twist these together. doesn't matter which one is which. Okay, so there's that one, and then here's the next one. Just twisting it together, make sure you don't touch one side of the wire to the other side. Um, it will short it out or it will continue running. So it looks like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and use our solder. We're gonna solder these parts together, make sure they're nice and tight. Solder iron is very hot. You don't want to inhale the solder. First, you're going to heat up the wires. That'll help get it going. And then just put the solder right on it. And it 
just melts. Have a fan going. There we go. There's one. Here comes the other one. Of course, you got to heat it up. Works much better if you heat it up first. And you press your solder to it, and the solder melts right to it. super hot. A wet paper towel or a sponge works great. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the heat shrink on it just to protect it. And put it on just like that. Turn the soldering iron off as it gets hot. I'm put this one on. Before I do that, I'm actually going to test it. If you don't keep testing it and something goes wrong, it makes it a little bit harder to go back and figure out what happened. You can hear it. It is running. I can hear it. So it's good to go. I'm going to go ahead and use my hair dryer. That's what I use my hair dryer for is the heat shrink. off a little bit. Okay, now we're going to put it all back together here. And gently put this stuff into here. And over just like this, make sure all the wires are inside. Make sure it's down good. That's hitting. It's obviously hitting something. So in 
pretty good. I'm gonna put all the screws back in. And before we get too much done, let's test it one more time. There it goes. It's working. Okay, let's put all the screws back in. Last thing we want to do is hot glue that right in there so it stays right in there. We don't have to worry about it coming out. So just put a little hot glue right in there. Hold it nice and tight. Now I'm going to put the top back on. And here we go. There you have it. And there it is. It's working.